Yarns are not always the same guys, some are very thick, some are very thin, others are single plied, double plied, three, four plies, so what kind of yarn should I buy? We'll discover that after the theme song. Hey guys, I'm Alberto and I'm a textile technician that lives and works in Italy. Today we're going to talk about yarn count, so mm, how to recognize the right sizes of the yarns that we need. Today in this episode we're going to talk about the direct system, because remember guys that there are two systems to recognize the title and the number of the yarn. The first one is the direct system and the second one is an indirect system. As I said previously, yarns are not always the same. Some are very thin, like this one, as you can see here. Others are very thick, like this one and some are very very thick i mean look at this one guys this one actually is a rope i can hang myself with this one the problem of the yarns is that yarns are too thin to be measured i mean come on can you imagine using a centimeter to mm, to see and to calculate the size of the yarn i mean it's quite impossible textile masters invented the yarn count to measure the yarn sizes for the yarn count you need two things, two important things, the weight and the length. The direct system indicates how many grams does 1000 meters of yarn weight. We have different type of measures in the direct system, but the most common use are tex, detex and denia. To calculate the tex is quite easy, you take the weight and the length and you divide weight for the length and multiply for 1000. For the detex is the same, you divide the weight for the length and multiply for 10,000. And for the Naya, you take the weight and divide for the length and multiply for 9,000. There are others, but who cares, nobody use them. If you have more plies, for example, two, three or four plies, like in this case, guys, if we take this yarn, for example, it seems like one yarn, but if you separate them, like here, you can see that the yarn becomes two yarns, so it's double plied. So in this case, actually, the number will be bigger because, I mean, if you twist together two yarns, the yarn count will be bigger and more important. In this case, we have a 220 slash two. Slash two means that we have two plies. In the direct system, 220 slash two means that if you multiply 220, which is the yarn count of one single ply, you multiply for two, that are the two plies, you actually obtain 440, which is the final count in the direct system. We are talking about DTEX in this case. Remember guys, this is very, very important in the direct system. The bigger the number, the thicker the yarn is. I repeat because this is quite important. In the direct system, the bigger the number, the thicker the yarn is. In the indirect system, it's completely the opposite, so let's remember that. Normally, tex and detex are used, for example, for synthetic and artificial fibers. For example, detex is very used for viscose and tex are very used for polyester, polyamide and so on. Denia uh, is very used, for example, for tights, hosiery in general. How can I get actually weight and the length of the yarn? We use one simple machine called Textile Reel and I've prepared guys for you some video to show you how we can get the weight and length and how can we calculate the yarn. It's very simple, you take the yarn, for example, you put this yarn in the reel and you spin, rotate over and over again until you get something like 50 meters, 100 meters. Of course, the more meters you have and the more uh, reliable is the re final result that you have. And then you put the yarns into a small hank and you weight the hank and you afterwards calculate. That's it for today guys, in the next video I'm gonna talk about indirect system and the conversion between direct system and indirect system, so stay tuned, I'll see you guys in the next video.